the seat, third show of the season, back at Oldham, Oldham New Sports Leisure Centre, uh, where we've got uh, an e-card um, bill and uh, all exciting fighters. Yeah, you know, um, we started off with 12 on there and we've had a, f a few dropouts, including a couple this week, but you know, eight fights is probably about right, you know, uh, and, and like you said there, they're all good fighters and entertaining fighters and so anyone who comes to the show or tunes in on VIP boxing and TV are going to see some uh, some good bouts on Saturday night. Yeah, well they're all, like I say, uh, fight friendly styles aren't they? Because they all like to have a, uh, a cracking fight. A kid who you wouldn't expect to be a fighter, but he's, he's really delivered, he's that Jack Daniels. Yeah, yeah, well uh, he's an accountant Jack isn't he? And, uh, he doesn't really look like a fighter. He's tall, he's tall, tall and slim, and uh, normally dressed with a shirt and tie on. And uh, he, he he's not your typical fighter. But if you look at his amateur career, he was a top top amateur. He's had a bit of a breakout while he went to uni, and even though it's like new to him, he, he's uh, looked really really impressive. And he and he and he's professional fights today. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Jack back out on um, Saturday. He's fighting a debutant. And we'll always come and try. Yeah, we've got another kid who doesn't normally fight on uh, this side of the uh, Pennines, uh, Rhys Mond. Yeah, well, well, Rhys is one of my uh, top prospects, isn't he? And uh, I've got to keep him busy. We was hoping to get a um, show over at Doncaster Racecourse, but we couldn't get one there. So, uh, you know, uh, he's jumped on my old show and. Uh, I promised I'd get him a big fight by the end of the year and we're going to do that over in Yorkshire somewhere. Like I said, I know you're a very, very exciting prospect. Mm. Uh, we've got Charlie Schofield, are you supposed to fight at the Victoria Yeah, Warehouse? yeah, Charlie's down for top topping the bill for me on the 17th of November at Victoria Warehouse and uh, he, was, he was getting a bit of a tune up two weeks ago, but we didn't get anyone for him. We're in a situation now where we're just waiting for the foreigner to, to, to come for... Uh, Charlie, like we are with, with some of the other ones, it's frustrating at the moment. There's just not the people about to, to, to match up with, but we grafted hard and we've, we've got to make sure there's someone for him there on Saturday. Well, we've got the two lads from um, uh, Ben Lancaster's gym, uh, mm -hmm. Jack Kilgannon. Jack uh, Kilgannon's got Louis Van Pooch, who's always there, isn't he? And, uh, you know, Kilgannon, we was talking about fan, fan friendly styles before, you know, uh, he wants to kill him from the first. Five seconds, only so uh, you know that that'll be a fun fun fight to watch. You can see uh, the Van Pooch pulling his tongue out at him a few times already. Now, <laughs> uh, and is that over six rounds? As That's well? over six rounds, yeah. Uh, and then we've got his teammate Jack Rafferty again, another really exciting fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen much of Jack, and I still not really because on the two he's shows he's been ours, he stopped stopped both of them. But uh, you know, again, as you know, we the people that, that Ben trains they, they don't mess about they get in there and want to have a scrap and um, you know there's not many people even though he's he, he's a novice and he's having his first six round in, in the uk want to fight jack so it looks like we'll have a following in for jack as well uh, and then we've got the two bolton lads uh jack flatley uh, we're waiting for the title fight to come from frank long's office uh, he's stuck in the middle a middleweight and light middleweight to see what opportunity comes up for him but you know we're going to keep him busy on this one you know we've had to get him a super middleweight because he, he was hard to match so he's fighting Harry Matthews and mm -hmm. Harry's just fought for the central area title and uh, he gave Jack Cullen you know a fight not so long ago so uh, it's, it's not an easy it's not an easy one for him but I mean it's one I'm sure to prevail with but uh, you have to dig deep, giving that a bit of a weight, weight away to to to, to Harry, but uh, he's more than capable. Yeah, and then we've got uh, the other bottom lad, Jack Cullen. Yeah, the meat cleaver from Little Lever. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's a great again, name, like again, he's topping the bill from around December the eighth. So um, we're getting. Uh, Is that going to be at Bolton the Bolton Whites? He, yeah, on, yeah, on December the eighth, could be a Bolton Whites. I'm hoping to get him um, some sort of title or eliminator, and um, this this fight again. Looks like uh, he'll be a foreigner because uh, not many people in the UK want to fight, fight him as well. So. He's moved fast, hasn't he? You know, when he, he'll only do just over two years as a pro, and I think it will be his 15th or 16th fight. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Loves it, doesn't he? You know what I mean? He absolutely loves fighting. He'd fight every week if you he, if he could let him jack. <laughs> so, uh, you know, next year is going to be a big year for him. I mean, uh, I've told him now that's. Um, the, uh, what 
what do they call it? They're, they're off. The reins are off, and uh, we, we're letting him go. So, so next year he'll, he'll be in uh, in big fights. And like you say, if you look at the card there, a lot of these kids are TV fighters, and they fight in our shows. And so people who are tuning into VIP TV, you're not, fun, you're, not, really. you're not seeing a small odd card like you see with all the other promoters. We, 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 we've uh, ordinary kids on. You're actually seeing. A show where the kids are more than capable to, to be fighting on BT, Sky, or ITV, or Channel 5. I mean, uh, the talent, talented kids, and what we're trying to do is groom them ready for when they, they will be on the TV. So, Saturday night, as I say, get that old them or, or tune into the VIP stream, and uh, you'll see some of the, the future prospects of the UK fighting. All right, Steve. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Bye. Bye.